Alrighty guys, today we're going to be looking at Into the Breach. This is sort of the FTL sequel, if you will. <laughs> it's by the guys who made FTL. We're going to start a new game. Uh, yeah. So, it's all about dropping in mechs and sort of fight, fighting in like, um, what was that game? I think Advanced Wars sort of style. We're going to play on easy here. All I've got at the moment is um, the combat mech. The cannon mech and the artillery mech. Um, have no one else. So I've only played about half an hour before starting recording it. So we've got a first little island here. If you are from the future, you'll find our island is even further back in time than you expected. If not for the deck, I'd I'd have loved to give you a tour of the old Earth relics. Okay, so we're starting over here. This is a Cobra HQ. I got Vec detected here and here. Vec are the enemy, essentially. So, we've got a power grid. Reduce every time a power building is damaged in combat. Right, so these little lightning bolts will give us some power grid back if we do those bonus objectives. I've not been able to do the do not kill the volatile one, but we'll see if we can do it. Okay, and this is the sort of grid you start with. Um, these little buildings are the civilian buildings, and you want to protect them from these guys. So this is a volatile vec. I'm not sure how you keep him alive, because he attacked me last time. Um, you have your three little units, and you choose where to put them down. So I'm going to put my mech over there. This is my cannon mech called my tank so we're going to stick you there and we're going to stick our artillery in the back and then if you're happy with those placements you can see where people can move to by hovering over them just hit confirm game so this guy is now threatened this is where the Vex are going to spawn next turn, so you'll see in that bottom right there, Vex will emerge here next turn, any unit blocking this face will take one damage. Okay. So, the mech here can move various abilities, uh, various directions in that. His ability is that he can punch an enemy. Now, his punch currently does 2 damage, which means we'll kill this guy. But you'll see that the yellow arrow means that it would move into this tile if he had that much health. So what we're going to do is just punch that guy. He drops dead. You'll see that he moved, but obviously we did 2 damage. He had 2 health. Um, where can you fire? You can fire there and make this guy move back. I'm not sure if that's going to be helpful or not. Because we don't want to kill this guy. As weird as that sounds. I think we just... First spawn in there. I think we'll go there for next turn. And then just pass turn. You can undo your moves and all that as well. If you need to. Let's see what they do. See, this guy attacks buildings and stuff, but I don't know how to stop him doing that without him, without killing him, essentially. So I can do that. This will knock this guy into this guy, both taking one damage. So let's show you how that works. There you go. And then... I can't really get into a position where we can kill that guy. He will die, but it will also damage the building. But there's not a lot I can do because I can't move with this guy. Uh, okay. So yeah, we, we lost some of our power grid. But we really need to protect that for a bonus to get hit back. So we could just do that. That will kill the guy in the back. This guy won't die yet. So as long as we don't hit him again, we should be alright. Okay, we lost some more power. 
Our tank is now threatened, as well as our mech, and we've got two emerging next turn. Okay. Back over there. No, that's not how that works. Oop. Um... I don't want to kill him. That's my main problem right now. I can fire it on my tank, pushing him away, and then we can move somewhere like there. No. We can move there. Shoot that guy. That guy's then not threatened. Move here, push you. End turn. Okay, that's probably the best way to play that so far. So we've got victory in two turns. We still want to keep this guy alive, but he does have one health. Which is starting to become a problem. I can just drop that on your head. Free this guy. Okay. The artillery did take damage there because we pushed, punched the guy into him. Okay. Well, we won. We kept the volatile guy alive. So we do get power back, but we also lost two power in the process. So, there's a lot of unused space in this region's nature preserves. We'll begin moving refugees here now that Vivek are gone. So, maybe. I'm not sure if that was the right play. We'll try this one. Our technicians re recently got an old earth artillery battery up and running. Please make sure it survives this fight. Okay, so this guy here, we need to keep alive. I don't really know if there's a good place to actually um, put stuff. I imagine there's some sort of min-max with it. Inquent time pod. A temporal rescue craft designated time pod has landed in our vicinity. Oh, we've got to protect the time pod. This pod contains equipment from the future. You can collect it with your mech or just defend it until the end of battle. Okay. Let's do that. Can you collect it? You can. Oh, your attack's a bit of a weird one. I mean, you can only move one square, so just secure the pod. You hit there to push him out. You then go there and shoot him. You can also knock people off the edge. That's a good tactic to use as well. You can't really do anything, so just end your turn. Uh, you still have units that can act? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You're a new guy. What are you? Let's hover over you and we'll find out. Soldier Scion? I suppose. Okay, so that frees up you, that will kill you, you've reduced the boost from that guy, push him into him and you die, now he's going to be shooting that mountain this turn, because we moved him, he was here shooting at that building. Because we pushed him down, he's now shooting at that mountain. So I think we should be alright to just pass turn here. Now he blocked someone from spawning, so he had to move. Okay, your attack's really annoying. I think we move you there for next turn, perhaps. We 
can you do? You can go there. Okay. Let's play this a bit differently. Knock him off the edge. Okay. Let's try and protect our buildings a little bit. Let's see how well that goes. It's a bit like a game of chess. As weird as it sounds. Right. Um need to think about this. So yeah, he did take damage from that. Which sucks. He is now possibly screwed. And kill that guy. Oh well, that was smart. You can't undo attacks. You can only undo moves, so. That's annoying. He's dead now. Yeah. I mean, we saved all the civilians, but we didn't save the tank. So. Yeah. I think we failed that as well because we gave it to the artillery support who then died. I don't know. Pod recovered. Self-destruct. Any cost weapon mecha explodes killing self and anything adjacent to mech. Interesting. Reactor cores are used to upgrade your mechs between missions. Nice. So all this is still very new to me by the way. So don't worry if you don't understand it yet because I don't understand most of it either. Okay, so these have shields which protect them from shots, but not like melee or something, if I remember correctly. Like I said earlier, I don't know if there's a tactical placement. So... If I move you there, I could shoot this building, doing no damage to it, but moving that mech out of the way, moving that thing out of the way, no, that, mm, reset turn, yeah, so that, that was abysmal. Cause that's gonna that's gonna do no damage, so there's no point hitting him. So you come down here, you shoot him into this dam, I suppose. I'm not sure if that's gonna do much. How much health do you have? So we can kill you now. Okay. Someone leveled up. So you're still doing no damage to that. Okay. It was a weird one, but I think that was a way of doing it. So now his shields are down. He can take damage from the next attack. Okay, he's flying... So I don't think you can knock him off the map. I'm not sure.
Okay. So the bonus objective is actually to destroy this dam. Maybe we'll see if we can do that. If I move back there. Okay. Well, that's interesting at least. Because <laughs> now no one has like any moves. It looks like it might actually work out for us. Uh, what actually? Oh, do you just have a punch? Oh, that's like useless. Okay, dismiss our message. I imagine that's a lot more useful if everyone's on this side of the dam. But sure, right. Um. Okay, well, we can do this, you can't swim, okay? Uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, apparently that's a console. That's how you play that. I was thinking about it. And that's fine. So you are promoted. Thank you, Riftwalkers. The destruction of the dam will delay the VEC while we try to get more military technology back online. Plus one mech move. Piloted mech movement is increased by one. Nice. Corporation reputation. That's a mouthful. As you secure regions and complete bonus objectives, your reputation will, uh, with the local corporation will increase. You can spend reputation on supplies at the end of the island. Okay. You just got a new weapon. You can upgrade it in the upgrade screen. Core installation. You can use this button to install reactor cores in a mech. Each core will increase a mech's maximum reactor power by one. Okay. You can use the reactor power to activate weapon modifications. Click on a mod to power it. You can always click it again to remove the power if you want to put it elsewhere. So it's kind of like putting power into things on FTL. Well, okay. But we don't have enough power to do that. We only have one reactor. So we should probably go for something like health. Or move. The tank's got pretty good movement and not a lot of health, so I'm going to do that. I don't want to put self-destruct on you. You can also test the mechs or loadouts as well, which is quite nice. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. So let me know if you do like it, if you do want to see more. I'm, I'm down for doing more if you want to see it. But let me know in the comments below. Leave a like on the video as well if you liked it. And don't forget to hit that sub button. But until next time, guys, as always, take care.